Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Welcome to another ZX Spectrum versus Commodore 64 comparison video, as I like to call it, Playground Wars. In this video, I'll be taking a look at this game, Red Heat on said machines, released by Ocean but developed by Special FX, at least on the Spectrum. And it was released in 1989, but based on the movie of the same name that was released in 1988 by Carol Co. Pictures and starred Arnold Schwarzenegger as Captain Ivan Danko, a Moscow militia police officer or something, and Jim Belushi is some Chicago wide cracking cop. Basically, it's a buddy buddy cop movie that's east meets west, and it's not very good. It's not as bad as some of the stuff he was doing back then, but yeah, I don't even know if we got a cinematic release in this country. Um, but I do remember it in all the video magazines back in the day, and so we rented it because we were all massively into Arnold Schwarzenegger. And yeah, it's directed by Walter Hill, so you know, it's all right. It's not one of his best, but it's all right. It's got some great moments. And, boring random fact, it was the first movie to be given permission to shoot in Moscow's Red Square. Anyway, Schwarzenegger or Danko comes from um, Russia chasing a drug smuggler or something, I can't remember, and has to team up with this wise ass. And yeah, it's basically East versus West, you know, who's got a better gun, the most powerful handgun in the world. It's a Magnum. It's not, it's this. Watch it. Anyway, boring shit aside, you're probably thinking, if you know anything about this game, really? You're choosing this for your versus video. I mean, first of all, if you look at that loading screen, I mean, if you, to me, so, that's a good screen because I'm a specky fanboy, but to anyone else, it probably looks like um, those two actors, Maiden, Madden, Two Souls, and left slightly too close to the radiator. But yeah, this game <clears throat> is infamous for being shit. So why am I playing it? Well, I've never played the Commodore, but I have played the Spectrum version, and it's frustratingly hard. But it doesn't look terrible. So I thought I'd compare it to the Commodore 64 version, because I cannot see that it's going to be that much better. But why do they have to be good games that I compare? Why? And that's a pretty weak excuse, but I, I just want to cram in some movie games, to be perfectly honest, because movies and movie games, they were a big deal to me, you know, back in the day. And also, most of the movie games, well, because I've done two, haven't I? I've done Robocop. Uh, three, Robocop, Indiana Jones, The Temple of Doom, and Batman. But most of the movie games were based on, like, 18-rated movies. Ridiculous. But, yeah, think Kung Fu Master. Is the only way I could describe it. Only oh, don't see beneath his waist. Anyway, right, let's get into it. This is going to suck, but, you know, it's all for shits and giggles. Right, space. I'm guessing... I want to say it was the 128K version, but that sounds pretty 48K-ish to me. But anyway, in case you missed it... What's this? When you access a bonus icon, you'll be presented with a sub-game. As a detective, you must use your wits to figure out how to solve. That's not going to happen. Why, Dave? You know, like, are you, are you shitting your pants already? I'll tell you why. Look at this when we get into it. Right. Keyboard wouldn't work. Uh, well, it would. Basically, you hold fire and then you press a direction. So you can headbutt or you can punch or you can duck. And that's it. That's it. Shame, really, because, you know, well, I don't know what else would you have done with this game. Anything. I mean, this is ocean, for God's sake. Anything. Right, far to play. Oh, no, I've got to select joystick first, too. Kempston. There we go. Right. Yeah. Ooh. Right. I think that's Jim Belushi. Look. Wacka, wacka, wacka. Right, right to left. I'm in the bathhouse. So I don't think I've got a T-shirt on. I think I've just got a little flannel covering my junk. Right. So, he just karate chopped me. So, forward and punch. Does that duck? Because that bloke there, he's not karate chopping you, he's throwing a knife at you, which goes to the speed of sound. I can duck, and they can't do anything. And then up, and I thought you could headbutt him. Nice slappy noises. It's nice graphics. Basically, that's my health top left, that's my lives at the bottom. This is the filthiest bathhouse I've ever been in. Uh, Alright, the flannel, it does nothing. This is it! It's not terrible graphics, and it's alright animation. I'm, I, my left hand's starting to die a death already, but basically, move! As soon as there's no one there, move! Look at him. That's it. That's Arnie in a hurry, mind. Move. Hey, where is everyone? 
I had a quick practice just now and everyone literally just came out of nowhere and just killed me in about minus three seconds. Because, yeah, that's a thing in this game. They can kill you in minus three seconds. That one there, who's the one, you know, throwing the knife, who looks like he's karate chopping, but he's throwing a knife. He is just sat him. A bastard. See? There we go. Get a Glasgow kiss in your life. Oh, apparently he didn't like it. Either he's not a fan of kisses or Glasgow. Xenophobe. Oh, my hand. Oh, the forearms, they do nothing. See what I did there? So it's not terrible graphics. See that? that that's, is that a sub game or something? I want to pick it up. Don't anyone touch me. I'm naked. So, yeah, don't anyone. There we go. We got it. Um, I don't know what it did, but not a... What? See what I mean? It's like, I don't know, get the license, bang a game out as quick... Because this happened a lot. Bang out a game as quickly as you possibly could. Chin. Uh, and hope everyone buys it based on the fact that it's a Schwarzenegger game based on a movie. Or, um, yeah, the graphics look nice on the back of the box. Came out on the Amstrad, the Atari ST, the Amiga as well. Um, those versions look alright, but they're all the same premise. They're all basically a Kung Fu Master with you only at the top of the screen. Look, I do like the way he walks. He's a man with, well, no legs, apparently. Who knew? I mean, if you played this back in the day, I'd love to know what you think. I'm pretty sure, not that like, got a mate, duck. <sighs> amazing reviews. Stop friggin' karate chopping me. Oh, yeah, the Sinclair user probably gave it around about 70%, 78%. I'm sure of that. It made the cover. Do you hear know, the, you know, the disappointment in my voice there? It made the cover. Oh, this is as far as I've ever got in this game. And I've yet to see a bath. Like I said, the movie's all right. It's not aged, amazingly. How do I, there I go, I picked it up. Oh, it's health. I do like that punchy noise. I wish there was more. You can get a gun, by the way. I'm hoping when you get a gun, you can actually just waste the shit out of them. Because my fingers and left forearm could, well, do with a break. But then, to be fair, I don't think I've ever gotten a gun. I think my brother had it on the Atari ST. And while I thought it looked amazeballs, it suffers from pretty much the same shit this did. No legs. No gameplay, to be honest. Right. Dun, 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 look at that. Oh, stop friggin'. Oh. See, I guess you can only use your head and your legs, uh, head and your arm, sorry, because as your limited amount of moves, because you've got no like, fucking legs. Oh, two. Duck. See, how are you supposed to duck the bullets? Because you, you, once you commit to a move, duck. You're basically stuck in bullet time. Oh. This is awful. This is absolutely awful. Uh, nice, chunky graphics. Animations are right. But it's awful. It's shizen. East meets west. East meets shit. Boring random fact. Jim Belushi. I loved him in According to Jim. With the hot bird who used to be in Amaro's place as his wife. Totally out of his league. Yeah, I just referenced Mauro's place. In a gameplay. Would you like them apples? Come on, let me get a... Whatever it is. Why is this... To say this is difficult to, is beyond, you know, a poor descriptive term. And also, it's not that it's difficult. It's that the controls are fucking awful. Okay. Like it. Oh, I don't know if I want more help. Oh, how are you supposed to dodge them? There's one along the floor. Yeah, I don't know if I want more help. I want the pain to end. Commodore cannot be worse than this. Like I said, I've never played it. I can hardly record stationary screenshot, to be fair. It cannot be worse than this. In fact, this is a new video series, which is, which can possibly be the worst. Like I said, I'm going to do a few more of these. I might even do Running Man, which is an awful game as well. But well, that's Schwarzenegger. I just want some movie games because they were such a big deal of my childhood. Look at this. Look at this. Bon. I think it's safe to say we're, we're at a, an impasse here. It's 
not so much that the goggles do nothing, it's every bloody thing does nothing. Come on! Oh, hey! Really? Do I want that? Do I want that? I'm not sure I want that. No one's coming though, so I'm pretty sure I've got it. Oh, am I dead? Look, he's waving his jazz hand. I think I'm dead and we've started again. I didn't get it. This is awful. Commodore version cannot be worse than this. Let's find out. So here we go with Red Heat running on the Commodore 64. And as you can tell right off the bat, well, it's not title screen. I think I preferred the title screen on the Spectrum because even though it looked like Madame Tussauds had melted, it was in fact the, uh, the poster from the movie. This is basically reminding us that the two pro protagonists are basically from Russia and America. And I'm pretty sure the book, because I, I haven't seen the movie in a while, but the bottom half of the screen is um, Danko's or Arnie's apartment when he's in America. But it is in fact made by special effects. So both versions are made by special effects. So this should be quite an interesting comparison. And yeah, you know, obviously it's gonna win on the music. But then in the defense of the specy again, it's that was a 48K one, but anyway, Anyway, let's get into it. Now, I'm running this on Frodo through emulation on a Wii because my Commodore 64 Mini, whatever ROM I threw at it, I don't know if this is like an ominous sign, didn't want to touch it with someone else's barge pole. But anyway, fire, start, sound effects, joystick. We're on joystick. We're going with uh, sound effects because that's what the Spectrum had. Pretty sure it'd just be the title music. Otherwise, and off we go. So, three lives, the hot house. Right. So here we are, right, so forward punch, yep, chinny chin, chinny chin chin, chin and stuff, cool, uh, it, it's left to right, special effects mate, and he's got a knife, of course he's got a knife, D yeah, don't recommend you do that in a wash house kids, it might not go down well, um, health appears when they slap you is exactly the same, but why is it from left to right instead of right to left, small complaint I know, but same people made both versions, um, I was going to say the controls seem a little bit more responsive than the Spectrum, but it turns out they're just as ass bad. Oof. But, yeah, your, your options are pretty much as limited. Punch or, you know, chin. Good animation, pretty much the same as the Spectrum. Uh, I prefer the Spectrum's chunky sprites, but you could argue this one looks more like Arnie. Um, oh, Arnie back in the 80s. And the world was at your feet. Uh, come on. They, they bagged me already. I like the fact that just in case you forgot what we're playing, and I'm dead, red heat is across the entire bottom of the screen. Right, all right. Yep, of course, it put me all the way back at the beginning. At least it's consistent. You can leg it, but you can't move past... Look, they're, they're, they're urgent, aren't they? Can't move past the middle of the screen. Again, why would you wait? I don't know how... Well... It's weird how licenses work, movie licenses back in the day. You get the license and then you promise a certain amount of money. So is this like, um, well, it's not Highlander. That's not true. They just made a bad game. But it's just like, shit, um, if this game is successful, then, you know, and all the kids are going to buy it anyway because it's Arnie. How are you supposed to avoid those? We're going to be bankrupt. I know. We'll just make an awful game. Because, you know, graphically, they're pretty much as pants as each other. But Commodore could do so much better than this. As I said, I just wanted to do a movie game. Oh. What is the deal with the red at the bottom of the red heat? Oh, come on! Wow, this is hard. This is harder than the Spectrum. I don't know what that noise is once I've twatted them a few times as well. I gotta say, and I know... Yep, of course I'm dead. I'm a fanboy, but I think the Spectrum version looks better. Hasn't got colour. I know. I just like the chunkier sprites. Not as realistic, and again, hasn't got colour, but this is a bit too ickle. There's not much going on on the screen, is there? Apart from me getting massively slapped. I know I've seen a gun in a picture somewhere, so mind you, that was on the spectrum. But come on, get fucking pissed off, Arnie, and grow a pair of oh, balls, grow a pair of fucking legs. Yoink! Zangief? How you doing, Zangief? A lot better than me. But at least you feel like you got somewhat of a chance because have I got block? No, backwards is punch as well as up and forwards. That's weird. But yeah, at least that bloke doesn't come running in and karate chop you like he does on the spectrum. Although I'm pretty sure he's not karate chopping me. 
he's uh, throwing a knife straight into my face in point blank range. Come on! This game is awful. And I'm dead. Of course, I'm dead. Why would I not be dead? Why would you make a good playable game? Yes, granted, I know I picked a crap game, but hey, one more go. One more live, to be perfectly honest, because my forum's taking a battering. I think it's going to be very difficult to call this because they're both utterly pants. It's like trying to pick between one bucket of tepid piss and another bucket of tepid piss. It's like which one is slightly more lukewarm tepid piss than the other bucket. It's very disappointing because even I, well, I probably would have seen a movie back then because my mum let us rent anything, but... You know, all the kids would be like, I've got an Arnold Schwarzenegger game. You know, it can't be as shit as The Running Man. Oh, wait, it's as shit as The Running Man. At least we spent our pocket money on this. This ROM appears a bit glitchy. Because, I don't know like I, I don't know if I said it, but for some reason, this will not run on my Commodore 64. Min fucking do something. For the life of me. I, I thought I'd run out of fucking juice in the joystick, but no, it just... Oh, I can't take any more. I can't take any more. They're both as shit as each other. They're both as shit as each other. There's, there is no. I mean, I'm sure there's people out there who can say oh, I can do it, but there's, the, the, you know, the, the, the controls are just horrible. It's, it's not playable. Um, it's brutally difficult. Um, both of them are graphically for the systems they're running on rubbish. But if I had to call one, I would simply call the Spectrum because I like the chunky graphics, and you can actually get further in the level. I will say that, but other than that, these are both abominations. But hey, sorry, I'm determined to, to do some movie games, so maybe I'll show you I'm the Running Man next, and then we'll all think that this was all right. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think, especially who had this. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.